Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I got some huge Chicago Bulls news surrounding the NBA Draft, Denny, and LaMelo Ball. But before I get into that, make sure you guys, of course, checked out my last video. But either way, I have a huge announcement. You know, I just rebranded. I just dropped a bunch of merch. I'm going to throw it up on the screen. You know, if you guys are interested or just want to buy any, you know, I'd appreciate it a lot. Thank you guys for always supporting me and everything. You know, everything that I get from the merch will go right back into the channel to get like better quality or just anything like that. If you guys have any other t-shirt designs or anything like that you'd like to see, leave any comments below. Also, if you guys want to buy any merch, the link will be below today's video. And if you guys do, first off, thank you guys for helping me out and supporting me. Also, if you guys do buy some merch, use code BOWLS, all capitalized, in checkout for free shipping. But yeah, thank you guys. If you guys buy any, if not, you know, thank you guys for just supporting and watching the video. But yeah, let's just jump right into today's video. And some recent news recently came out. And the Chicago Bulls reportedly like prefer Denny like as Chicago's number one target over LaMelo Ball. So say like at four, say we don't make any moves or whatever, you know, LaMelo, say he's there at four. The Bulls will probably draft Denny over him. I mean, I don't know if I believe this. I mean, it does make sense. You know, I believe these are our Taurus's one number one and number two guys. So either this is true, the Bulls are really high on Denny and they want him at four, even if LaMelo Ball is there. Or it's just 100% smokescreen and they're, of course, want LaMelo to fall and them to take him at four or possibly trade up. But either way, Bleacher Report has like made this a big rumor and such. The Bulls are eyeing Denny at four. And they see, you know, Denny being, he could be the playmaker that the Chicago Bulls are wanting at four, even if LaMelo is there. You know, this doesn't surprise me 100%. Like I said, I could see this being true or just a smokescreen to, you know, store up more drama. But either way, I believe this is true. And here is why, you know, Daniel Greenberg, go shout out, shout out to him. Go follow him on Twitter. He reported saying like Danny is back in Israel after spending a couple of months training in Atlanta for like the NBA like draft and such. And of course, not many rumors came out about the Chicago Bulls meeting him and such. So it's unclear if the Bulls got a chance to meet with him. But you never know with Arturis, you know. Arturis doesn't really push out, like, like news or rumors. He kind of keeps it behind closed doors. Same with, like, the Jim Boylan hiring, the Billy Donovan hiring, like, or Jim Boylan firing, my bad. Nobody knew it was going to happen. Like, everyone knew Jim Boylan was going to get fired, but they didn't know when. It kind of came out of nowhere because I remember the week before, they said they were keeping him because the Bulls were being cheap or something. So you just never know with Arturis. He is a very quiet man. He always, he's, oh, he, just, he always keeps it behind closed doors, which I really like. But either way, I saw on Twitter that a fan or like a media source met Arturis in Atlanta not too long ago, and he was scouting. And, you know, like I said, there was no rumors about the Bulls meeting Denny. But because of this, I'll make sure to throw up the, twi like the tweet on screen and all. But this guy, I'm pretty sure he's like a source or like media source. He said he just ran into Arturis and his like management team in Atlanta last Thursday. And he seemed like a good dude. And I asked him, what are you guys doing in Atlanta? And he replied with, in the past, we've waited for players to come to us. We are just going to be more aggressive and go out there and find them. And that's a great answer to hear from our vice president. I mean, I truly believe he was in Atlanta meeting with Danny, you know, watching him work out and such. Even though no rumors or news came out about that, I honestly believe it. That's really, I mean, that just, it makes me happy to see that our tourists and like our management are being that aggressive to meet with Danny. But either way, like I said, say this is true. Say our Taurus just met with him. Who knows if he is our number one option at four. I believe he is. If LaMelo falls to four, I still do expect the Bulls to draft him. I don't see LaMelo Ball falling out of the top three, but you never know, especially in this crazy year that's been going around and the NBA draft is always madness. But definitely leave any comments or questions below about this interesting topic and rumor going around. You know, it's pretty cool that our Taurus is going behind the scenes meeting with players and interviewing them because I've said I've, I've made videos every time like the Bulls have reportedly like interviewed and worked out players because we only have like 10 workouts or whatever because of everything going around and there just hasn't been a lot of news or rumors about that. So, I mean, this made sense, man. Our Taurus likes to keep things behind closed doors. So I honestly expect the Bulls to draft any at four in this upcoming NBA draft unless if LaMelo falls, but I don't see him falling out of the top three. Like I said, leave any comments or questions below today's video about that topic. 
And the second topic I want to talk about in today's video is of course about the NBA season. You know, there's been a lot of rumors about the NBA season wanting to start December 22nd, right around Christmas. Or I've seen a lot of players like LeBron James wants it to start in like January. But either way, you know, I don't really mind. Either way, basketball is coming up quick. I, of course, would love it back in December just because the Bulls haven't played in months, you know. it's I just, I just miss it, honestly. And I saw if they do start in December, a lot of star players like LeBron and such are going to sit out the first month. So that will help the Bulls get some easy wins, especially in like a sh cut short season. I saw if they start in December, it might only be like a 60 to 70 game season. But either way, by the time this video goes up today or tomorrow, I'm pretty sure they're like all the NBA players are voting or like they're taking a vote on when they want the NBA season to come back. So I expect by the end of next week, there should be like a clarification when that next NBA season is going to start because we, we're going to have a busy few months and I'm going to be posting every guy every day, keeping you guys updated. But yeah, say it does start in December. We still have the draft. We have free agency and then we have training camp to, you know, to get our guys ready for the season. Either way, it is going to be a crazy few months. So stay tuned to my channel. I'm going to be posting every day, trying to keep you guys updated. But either way, man, like I said, I don't know if this rumor is true or not. It does make a lot of sense, especially with our tourists, like going behind the scenes, meeting with Denny in Atlanta and such. I don't know, man. I'm going to throw up these like some highlights to end this video of Denny working out. Definitely leave any comments or questions below today's video saying like if you guys are like that high on Denny and you guys want the balls to draft him at four or just any comments about if LaMelo Ball can fall out of the top three or who you guys would want the Bulls to draft at four. I do see a lot of you guys saying you guys want Obi Toppin at four. But honestly, I just, I don't know, honestly. There's been so many so much news and rumors, I don't know anymore. I trust our tourists 100% to make the right decision. But like I said, to end this video, I'm gonna throw up some highlights at Danny just in case you guys don't know that much about him. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's quick little video. You know, if you guys buy any merch, make sure to like DM me on Instagram. I'll shout you out in this in like my next video or whatever. Thank you guys for all the love and support recently. I hope you guys enjoyed today's quick little video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.